All right. Now I can start uh, spraying in some light clouds. All right. Um, I faintly sketched in where my hills and mountains are going to be. Now I'm going to go and start airbrushing some clouds in the distance so that when I actually paint the mountains, paint over the mountains, it'll look like the clouds are behind the mountains. So that's uh, what I've got going here now. Put some sort of wispy, cirrusy kind of clouds. I'm going to use this batting here to help me with that. And I'm going to take this synthetic batting and just pull it apart. And I'm just going to spray through the batting. I just want to be fairly thin. So uh, things have a nice wispy kind of look to it. This is kind of a little bit messy because I usually get my hands all messed up. Like that. clouds in the background I and mean, it'll get painted over and we'll see as being rising up behind the mountains so and I go through a lot of batting because the stuff starts getting wet it's paint and you run the risk of if you move it over it ends up uh, say putting a blob or a streak in the background Take what I've done and take this whisk broom here and just spray lightly, extend those clouds, make them look a little seriously. Bring it through this whisk broom. Here too. Some 
cirrusy clouds. I'll throw some up here. You can probably see what it looks like. If I zoom in, there. Oops. Stupid thing starts going in out of focus. Get this kind of cirrus effect. Going up there. Hopefully you can see that a little bit clear by using the broom. Oh, I'll just kind of do that for the clouds up above, up high. And it's very simple, just uh, take a whisk broom and just kind of drag it along and spray paint through it. Just, just like this. there. 